day, many people pass the United States Courthouse in downtown Indianapolis without being aware that it is a trove of historic and artistic treasures. Well, the United States District Court for the Southern District of Indiana also has courthouses in Evansville, New Albany, and Terre Haute. The federal court in Indianapolis has the longest and most storied history. In 1825, Indiana's federal courts moved to Indianapolis from Corridon, the former state capital. At first, the federal court was held at the Marion County Courthouse and the first state house. But in 1860, a federal government building opened at the corner of Market and Pennsylvania Streets. For the first time in Indiana history, the federal court, post office, and other federal agencies were housed in the same building. However, as the government grew, more space was needed. The modern courthouse in Indianapolis was designed in 1902 by the Philadelphia-based firm of Rankin and Kellogg, which won the commission with its architectural drawing of an impressive Beaux Arts style structure. The space for the courthouse, located on Ohio Street between Meridian and Pennsylvania Streets, was cleared in 1902. By March 1903, the foundation for the building had been constructed and the cornerstone was laid. On this occasion, former Indiana State Senator Addison C. Harris remarked to the gathered crowd, The building to rise here is to be the abode of national justice in Indiana, and it is fitting that justice shall reside in homes as noble in design as the brain of man can conceive, for justice is the supreme power and authority in this republic. The construction of the building proceeded with limestone blocks stacked one by one to form the exterior. The interior of the building also began to take on its modern look. Marble from around the world was brought in to give the building a striking interior color scheme and artists arrived to install the mosaics that are still seen throughout the first floor. Finally, in September 1905, the building opened to the public. Originally, the post office was the main tenant of the building. Thousands of pieces of mail passed through the post office on a weekly basis, and those responsible for sorting and delivering the mail were kept busy. As the population was growing, so was the U.S. government. Once again, federal agencies required more space, and as a result, the building was expanded. Between 1936 and 1938, the east and west wings of the building were extended and then joined by a rear wing that spanned New York Street. This addition to the northern part of the building enclosed its original U-shaped floor plan into a square, filling an entire city block. Despite the changes the building has undergone, the interior has retained many of its original features. These include the glass tile mosaics that are seen throughout the first floor lobbies. These are original to the building and are full of symbolism. For example, the main figure in the mosaic on the east end of the building holds the fasces, or bundle of sticks, which is an old Roman symbol of government. The axe head on top of the fasces represents the power of government to punish those who break the law. From the lobbies, beautiful spiral staircases lead to the second floor. The staircases have an interesting legend behind them. According to old newspaper articles, the staircases were designed by a German stonemason who was a prisoner at the state penitentiary in Michigan City. When he heard that this building was being designed, he wrote a letter to the architects claiming that he could create two self-supported marble staircases. He was a clever man, however, and refused to put his plans on paper. The architects were intrigued and decided to bring the man to Indianapolis to oversee construction himself. The stonemason made good on his promise, and in the end, the staircases were created and unmatched in beauty and design. The legend continues that the governor was so impressed with this man's skill that he gave him a full pardon from his prison sentence. While no records have been unearthed to confirm or refute this story, the legend lives on within the building. ladies and gentlemen, in a sincere and heartfelt way, for your jury service on this occasion. You no doubt have a better understanding now of how important the duty of citizenship is that requires you to serve as a juror. The second floor of the building houses the two original courtrooms. They were very impressive and ornate when they were originally constructed and remain remarkably similar today. 
These courtrooms are still used regularly for hearings and trials, and a number of other courtrooms have been added to the building as the court has grown. The spiral staircases between the second floor and the third are each decorated with an identical stained glass window. In the corners of each of these windows are symbols of both government and the four elements. A lamp, which represents both knowledge and fire. A dove, representing both peace and air. A dolphin, representing commerce and water. And a tortoise, representing strength and earth. On the third floor, a set of murals was painted in the southwest corner in the 1930s. The paintings were done by Grant Christian. They remain today as a testament to Indianapolis's early history, as well as life in the 1930s in Indianapolis. The murals also reflect the building's history as a post office, which moved out in the 1970s. During its more than 100 years of existence, the U.S. Courthouse in Indianapolis has hosted many important trials and undergone many physical changes. Through it all, it has remained one of Indiana's most respected centers of law and an architectural and artistic gem.